Would like to see what you have in stock. Can't have too many. Nothing else? I have to go. See you soon. Don't be a stranger. I need your eyes, my friend. to go. Then go in peace. There are new maps for you, Eivor. What have you got for me today? Always easier to follow a map. The map has been revised. For now? I will see you later, friend. Keep exploring. I'm off. Be well, friend. A bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor. What do you see?
Go, Sunan. I want to see the Alliance map. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I will make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Who's there? We are the wisps of the swamp. Leave all you have as tribute, or you will never see the sun again. Spirits. We'll see about that. Found us, lads. No sudden moves, all right? Here are the mysterious wisps. So you and your fellows like to scare travelers into giving up their valuables? That's right. We're peaceful like that. Wouldn't hurt a fly, me. You tried to rob me. A sorry necessity. <laughs> we three were left homeless after your country folk uh, burned our village to ashes. Now we do what we must to keep body and soul together. Here, you figured out our trick. 
Can you help us? Help you? Just a few pointers. How can we improve? Be more effective ghosts, so to speak. Why don't you hang up some bone dolls from the branches? A man would be scared witless coming upon that in the fog. That's a fine idea. We'll do it. Here, you deserve a few coins for your help, at least. Thanks, traveler. So, who knows how to make a bone doll? Oh, can't we use twigs or something? Bones make my skin crawl. That's the idea. Back! 
Unfortunately, well. well, the hair to find it. Ah, it should have driven your hair and the wind as a warrior. Or the ship that wound us. house of their timid guard. They built him a rich dwelling.
Do you have a moment to speak of our Lord and Saviour? Jesus, the light of the world? For a coin, I will tell you his story. You have no soul, Dane. Even the mighty fall, and God's servant... Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It is you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books one may find such wisdom. We had many in England before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby, or perhaps a more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson. I have nothing for you now, but I will return. God called Aelfus to sit beside him, and... Gone to earth, and his sister weeping, mourning a lord far known and beloved. I give praise to such a man to keepsake his memory. Have a moment to speak of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus, the light of the world. For a coin, I will tell you his story. Here, spend it well. You honour the Lord's great deeds with your charity. For God's Spirit breathed on the waters, and in the Jordan River, Jesus was cleansed of all sin. A holy river? On the mountain, he walked with his disciples. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Balder too is bright as the sun. At his tomb, the earth shook and an angel appeared, asking them why they looked for the living among the dead. He has risen! A stirring saga, old man. Use that coin I gave you for bread rather than ale. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. On the mountain his face shone like the sun and he became light. His transfiguration. God breathed on the water and in the Jordan River he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism.
The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. Thou art weighed in the balances, and found wanting. Perhaps you should try again. Speak his story. In order. On the mountain his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. Thou art weighed in the balances. ...and found wanting. Perhaps you should try again. Speak his story... ...in order. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River... ...he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. On the mountain his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Are the riddles done? That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle. Now all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? I learned that your God fears death, just as mine do, just as every man does. Yet through our Lord, we may achieve life everlasting in His glorious presence. Perhaps you missed that detail. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this, and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs. Three men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your guard. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and 
many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive. Nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun. Before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust. Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor. Compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, great king, but the day will come. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin.
to get on the other side. Ah! <laughs> 
The other side must be barred. Mildritha from the bakery. The trollop who kneads dough with her bodice free and loose. My husband can't keep his eyes off her. Oh, you'll be happy to hear Reeve Selwyn arrested her. Goodness. For braiding her naked. <laughs> Selwyn's got some stones on him arresting Alfred's man. Who rules in Winchester anyway? Is Alfred king or not? Well, you ain't, that's for sure. So keep your mouth shut and do as you're told. Goodwin gone and guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Papers thrown in the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks. Other guards destroying evidence. Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison.
someone disagrees with Alfred educating the people of Winchester. I shall win in your duck pond. Is this what you want, you filthy swindler?
This place is heavily guarded.
cane trees chiseling rock from the earth and for what? <laughs> to build more prisons for men who steal apples. <laughs> yes, I was starving. My baby son close to death. Would you not steal to save your child? I'm looking for the Reeve. Selwyn? That bastard said I stole an apple. He'll see me hang for it. Not Selwyn. Reed Goodwin was arrested not long ago. Arrested? Now that's as funny as a dose of the fox. Seems no one is free in Winchester. Our prisoners might know something. You choose death. walls and thicker guards, a place to keep a valuable man.
Reeve Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon. Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodman. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go before they find their wolf has fled his cage. Let's regroup beyond the walls!